Manor Lords is a pretty cool game. Organic, gridless city building, third person perspective. But there's one thing I think it's missing. One thing that's pretty common in these city building, simulation, management type of games. The economy overview, or the statistics page, or resource tracker, or the production view, whatever you want to call it. Now, this game is in early access, and the dev is busy fixing other things. So because I want features now, rather than just making a wish list and waiting for them to get implemented, I did something about it. I did this. The budget version of your economy view, the Walmart production view, the bootleg statistics page, the resource tracker at home. You might be wondering how, since the game does not have official mod support. Well, that would not stop me from researching about memory scanning, pointers, Lua, Python, graphical user interfaces for two days in order to copy a number from here to here. So how does this work? When I first started thinking about the idea, I thought of two approaches. One, AI, some sort of image recognition that would take a screenshot every couple of seconds, then parse the image and extract data about resources. Problem with that is lack of detail. I'd only be able to screenshot what's on the screen, and since resources are grouped like this, that would be pretty useless. My second approach, which is what I went with, was figuring out if I can read game data from memory and use it that way. Also, let's pretend that people have not already figured out how to properly mod this game, which is probably 10 times faster and better than what I did. Anyways, memory reading. So the way games, or pretty much any process works, is by loading its resources into memory. The thing you download when your game starts to lag. And my rough idea with this was to somehow read the values from the memory and expose them so that my app or an add-on can read it and render the info I need. This is where Cheat Engine comes into play. I learned about this tool in my last video's comment section, and I know this tool can be used for all sorts of malicious things, but that's not what we're doing here today, okay? Cheat's bad. Reading your own memory to improve the game, good. So with the help of Cheat Engine, you can attach to a process, in this case, Manor Lords, scan the memory, tweak some values in the game, for example, wait for some resources to go up or down, scan the memory again and repeat until you eventually narrow down all the values to memory addresses. End up looking something like this. A list of pointers to addresses where game values live. The next step was making these values available to my own program. And at first, I thought of writing a Python script that would attach to a specific process, read the values from these addresses I found. But that does not really make sense since I already did that part of the job with Cheat Engine. Luckily, Cheat Engine has another feature, Lua Programming Language Engine. This allows you to write scripts and run them within Cheat Engine. In my case, the Lua script would just read the values from memory and write them to a file. Initially, I wrote this to a text file, trying to figure out a format that'd be easy to parse, but then I remembered CSV exists. This CSV file would act as an interface for the game, and since it's just a CSV file, you can do whatever you want with it. You can use it in a web app, or in your Google slash Excel sheet, or you can have a really dumb idea of implementing graphical user interface in Python. I had this idea of implementing UI that would act as an overlay and be styled to fit game colors and design, to look as if it was part of the game. And being someone who works with CSS on a day-to-day -day basis, I did not really think too much of it. I thought that'd be the easiest part of the whole project. But holy fuck styling desktop apps is pain in the ass. I used this library called Dear Pi GUI, which is a pretty cool library. People implemented some crazy things with it, but what it ultimately did is made me appreciate CSS and how easy it is to style and lay things around in the web dev world. But with some tears and skill issue, I eventually ended up with somewhat acceptable version of it. It's a window that sits on top of your screen, lists all the resources being tracked, and tracks them real time. Actually, every 60 seconds, but it can be adjusted to whatever. Some other things I think would be nice to have is filtering, so you have a bit detailed view of a specific resource, maybe supply slash demand calculation for each resource, and perhaps change chart background according to the season in the game. So it's easy to see how resources perform each season. But since this is where my cheat engine and Pi GUI skills are at, I leave that with the dev as a wish list and this video with this. So, if you want to track your resources in Manor Lord and you don't want to wait for the dev to implement the feature, just scan your memory. 